Welcome to the beautiful Scandinav Spa in Whistler, British Columbia. My name is Carolyn Ann Budgel, and I'm so excited to share some spa yoga with you today. My hope is that you can find a bit of quiet and silence to balance out the busyness of life. Find a comfortable way to sit. And as you next inhale, reach your arms wide and up. Bring your palms to touch. And as you exhale, draw your palms down through the center in front of your chest. So make the movement slow and align it with your breath. Again, let's inhale and reach up. And exhale, draw your palms down, sitting nice and tall in the spine. Let's circle our arms up. And a nice long exhale as your palms come down. Soften your shoulders. Maybe close your eyes if it feels right for you. Let's do this two more times. Now, bringing your hands down, walk your left fingertips over to the left, just away from your left hip and reach your right arm up. Come into a gentle little side bend. Lean your upper body over to the left, lean your top arm over to the left. Keep your sitting bones rooted on the floor and draw your navel in slightly. Take a few deep breaths into the right side of your body and notice what you're feeling in your body without judging it or without creating a big story around it. This is how we let the quiet permeate. Notice your breath. Gently come up, take your time. That's the idea throughout the whole practice is to take our time. Walk your right fingertips to the right, other side, reach your left arm up and over into a little side stretch, a side bend. If you can, breathe through your nose. Keep your top arm a little bit straighter and enjoy a few big breaths into your left side. With a rooted seat, rise up. And now bring your hands onto your knees. Maybe you'd like to close your eyes, take a long inhale. Exhale it out your mouth. Such a good, easy way to release from stress. One more big clearing inhale. And feel what you're tangibly releasing as you exhale. Move onto your hands and your knees with me, onto all fours, and be sure that you've set your hands shoulder width apart and your knees hip width apart. Spread your fingers on the mat. Cat cows, inhale, lift your chest up, tilt your sit bones up. As you breathe out, round your back and look towards your knees. Again, arc your spine, let your belly drop down, pull your chest forward through your shoulders. 
And as you exhale round, really push your palms into the floor, tuck chin into chest. Now allow yourself to continue these little movements, inviting in more vitality and space into your spine. And allow yourself to enjoy a little bit of quiet. For three more rounds. Make your way to a neutral spine so that your chest reaches forward, your navel draws in. For a downward facing dog, lift your knees and your hips up. Have your feet about hip width apart from one another. And try a little bend in your knees, push into your hands and work your chest back towards your thighs. Let your head hang. Let your neck muscles fully relax. Press firmly into your palms and just reach your right leg back and up into the sky behind you. Take your right knee towards your nose, looking between your hands, step your right foot forward and lower your back knee down. Rise up into low lunge, reach both arms up Plant the four corners of your front foot on the ground and bend your front knee over your front ankle. Feel your spine really upright. Feel your upper body lifted. Make a lot of space up in your spine and around your lungs for breath. Can you reach up a bit higher and inhale? And then slowly draw your palms down in prayer as you exhale. So here we are revisiting this arm movement. It's like a gentle moving meditation. Arms go wide and up again. Breathe in. And draw your palms down as you breathe out. Two more times. Feel the steadiness of your legs. Simply focus on your breath. The next time you reach your arms up, keep them up and wrap your right fingers around your left wrist. If you can, have your biceps aligned beside your ears Find a little side stretch. Tip your arms over to the right. Draw your navel in. Soften your facial expression. And breathe into all the little spaces of your body that are asking for breath right now. Gently rise, lower your hands down on either side of your front foot. Now begin straightening your front leg. We're gonna move into a hamstring release. This practice is designed to help release your low back and really to do hamstring releases and hip openers helps to impact the low back in a great therapeutic way. So as you've straightened your front leg, then you can come onto the heel of your front foot and flex your front toes up to the sky. Steer your right hip back and your outer left hip forward. And then just see what happens if you fold slightly over your front leg. 
be mindful to keep your chest broad and your chest reaching forward to your front ankle as you fold. Be aware of every breath in and every breath out and be aware of any sensations of silence within your breath and around your breath. There's always silence to access. Bend your front leg. There's no rush at all. And come back onto your hands and your knees, onto all fours with your hands lined up underneath your shoulders. Again, fingers splayed wide apart. A few cat cows. Inhale, lift your chest up. Round your spine as you exhale. Again, arc your spine. Feel the front of your spine opening up. And as you round, the front of your spine will compress and you'll open up the back body, right? Perfect balance here. Everything needs awareness and opening. A couple more rounds. Everything in perfect balance, the inhale and the exhale. And just like life, we will have busy times and chaotic times, and we can always come back and find the quiet and the silence for balance. Come to a neutral spine. Walk your hands back to your knees near the back of your mat. And so again, we'll stand up on our knees and you can choose if you'd like to keep your toes tucked under or not. And breathing in, stretch your arms wide and up. And as you breathe out, slowly sit on your heels, bringing your palms to prayer. Two more times. Walk your hands forward on your mat for downward facing dog. Lift your knees and your hips up. And see that your feet are hip width apart. Give a good push through your hands to extend your arms even straighter. Relax your neck muscles. And now take one breath through your nose. Contain that breath. Float your left leg up and back behind you as you breathe in. Left knee towards your nose, tuck it in and place your left foot forward, back knee lowers. Low lunge, rise up, reach both your arms up. Just take a moment here to get stable and steady. Plant the four corners of your front foot Bend your front knee so you're in a lunge, but draw your navel in, right? So there's a little bit of core engagement to help you feel more stable and steady. Your gaze can be forward or might be nice to close your eyes. Reach up even higher as you inhale, palms together, exhaling your palms down in front of your upper chest. Two more times like that. Circle wide and up. Exhaling, coming down through your center line. This is a meditation because you're doing this with awareness and with breath. Last one.
Extend both arms straight up. Wrap your left fingers around your right wrist. Lengthen your spine up taller and side bend over to the left. Lean your arms to the left. With your chin off your chest, have a good breathe into all those little sticky spots. We all have stubborn areas. We all have areas that we're working to be more patient with and kind towards in our bodies. Slowly lower your hands down on either side of your front foot. Finding our hamstring stretch, wiggle your front foot forward a couple of inches and then begin extending your front left leg towards straight and dig your left heel into the mat. Flex your left foot, spread your left toes apart. Find a little fold with every exhale. Know that you don't need to force this, you don't need to rush this. With every exhale, folding a little further. In other words, let your breath do the work. Rebend your front leg. With your hands near the front of your mat, come on to your hands and your knees. And take your knees a little bit wider apart, your toes pointed back, and stretch back into a child's pose. So your child's pose, it might be that your hands are stacked under your forehead, especially if your knees or your ankles feel a bit stiff. Or another option is arms out in front and your forehead down on the mat. Take a deep inhale and clear it out your mouth, letting go of bits of tension around your mouth or your jaw. One more time and inhale together. Full exhale. Take your time to come and lie down on your back. And once you're on your back, bend your legs with your feet flat on the mat. You could place your hands around your low abdomen or you could have your arms in a different position that feels more natural. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. We're coming in to thread the needle. Either remain exactly like this, pressing your right knee away from you, or you could also lift up your left foot and clasp your hands behind your left hamstrings. Gently draw your outer shoulders down into the mat to broaden your chest. Work your right knee away from your right shoulder and enjoy a few full breaths in and out of your nose. When we breathe through the nose, we're able to activate the rest and digest response. When you breathe through your nose, you tangibly slow everything down so that your whole system can find health and repair.
Give your right hip a few more full breaths. And now maintain the shape of your legs, but unclasp your hands, park your left foot on the ground if it wasn't already there. So you're still in number four legs. Pick up your hips, move your hips to the right one inch, and now let your legs tip all the way over to the left until your right foot comes flat down. Grab hold of your right shin with your left hand and either extend your right arm out to the right or reach your right arm back behind you beside your right ear. Work your top knee away from your face and could you try to press your low back down into the floor. Imagine your breath soaking through your outer right ribs. Imagine your breath soaking all through your outer right hip. Focus on yourself. Focus on how you're feeling. And breathe with awareness. Gently come back to center. Just untangle yourself until your feet are back down on the mat. Now cross your left ankle over your right thigh. So we're coming in to thread the needle on the other side. Option to stay with your right foot down or you can pick up your right leg, interlace your hands behind your right hamstrings. There are so many ways that you can take each of the poses. I hope that you're really listening to what your body needs. Relax your facial muscles. Make your breath longer and slower. And listen. Breathe and listen. Good. You can gently plant your right foot down on the ground again, still in this number four shape of your legs. Pick your hips up and shuffle your hips over to the left an inch. Legs tip all the way over to the right, all the way until your left foot comes flat down on the ground. Use your right hand and clasp your right hand around the front of your left shin and extend your left arm either out to the left or back beside your left ear. Really reach your left arm away from you and your left knee away from your face. Notice what's happening in your body without extreme judgments. Breathe and remember that silence is here between each breath, waiting to be connected to. There is silence here.
ease yourself out of this position. Come back with your feet flat on your mat. Draw both knees into your chest. Your hands can be around your shins for a little hug in, or you might like to wrap your forearms around your shins and hug in a little bit tighter. What if you just rocked your low back side to side on the mat? It's like a little massage. <laughs> Try a deep inhale now and a cleansing breath out. Yeah, it feels good to release actively like that. One more time, inhale and say, <sighs> roll onto one side and press yourself gently up to a seated position. Walk your left fingertips out to the left and lean your head over to the right away from that, letting your right ear fall towards your right shoulder for a simple neck release in your left side. Tall spine, unclench your jaw. and give your neck some of the care and attention that it needs. Take your time to roll your chin down to your chest. Go slowly, bringing hands on knees, tucking your chin down. You'll kind of be looking down at your knees or looking down at your thighs. Breathe into the back of your neck now. Just remembering that every aspect of your body needs this kind of care. Perhaps sway your chin to the right a little bit. And then after a breath, you can move your chin to the left a touch. And eventually roll your head all the way over to the left and walk your right fingertips to the right away from your right hip. The weight of your head just hangs over to the left. Give your neck full breaths. Notice what it's like to simply breathe and relax into these quieter moments. Be patient with yourself as you land into more and more silence. Take time to roll your chin down to your chest, hands on your knees, and lift your head upright. Now, soles of your feet come together. This pose is a butterfly pose. So you can have your 
your feet a little bit closer to you or a little bit further away from you. You can play around with both. It's great to experiment in your own body what feels right for today. And another thing to experiment with is folding with a straight spine or with me, you might like to round your back and just let the weight of your head fully hang down. Come on into your fold. Give yourself permission to move around a little bit until you find the right position for you. Breathe in a way that supports a release of stress. Because stress is unavoidable in life, but the beautiful thing is that you can always set it free again and again. You can move through the stress. You can set it aside and move forward with breath. Go slow to rise up out of your fold. Sit cross-legged with me one final time with your palms in prayer in front of your chest. Thank yourself for being here. Thank yourself for taking this crucial time to slow down, to release stress and to invite in more balance. You are on your way. And whenever you forget, perhaps you could just take a deep breath and remember that there's always silence within you waiting to be tapped into. Let's inhale, exhale. <sighs> Opening your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me at the Scandinav Spa in Whistler. I'm Carolyn Ann Budgel, and I hope to see you at the spa again soon. Take care.